video back with a few pickups so last weekend last sunday went to my first boot of the year um there's no local ones to me going on at the moment so i had to travel sort of 35 40 minutes to get to a boot sale uh you know it's still february and uh, my local ones don't open till easter um so yeah so it was a sunday boot got there just before six o'clock and um yeah I, I got a few bits to resell a few toys and stuff um but i found one thing and uh i thought yeah you know it's um it's pretty hard going this boot it's pretty hardcore a lot of competition and um yeah because there's not many on uh, around at the moment it's quite fierce <laughs> so yeah it's, it's hard to get pickups but i thought i'll go back again this week this sunday and uh, i did a lot better and i was really happy with the uh the stuff that i come away with well you can see so anyway last sunday the only real gaming item i picked up i did pick up a uh, connect game as well but i forgot to show that here but it's nothing that interesting but i did pick up this um street fighter 4 arcade stick and yeah, I was really surprised to come across that on a table because you've got loads of people going around looking for gaming stuff. And um, yeah, I spotted this on a table, asked the chap how much uh, he wanted for it. And he assured me it worked before, before I could really say anything. So that sort of made me sort of wonder if it does work or not. But I checked it all over. It was dark at the time. So, you know, I had my torch on my phone and um, I had a quick look over it. It seemed to be okay. Uh, checked all the wires make sure there was no splits or anything and like I said he said it worked and uh, I asked him how much anyway he said four quid and I thought well four quid I'll give it a go can't really go wrong for that can you uh, anyway well I got it home and uh, I was cleaning it up and the home button was um, stuck in and uh, I thought well surely it can't be too hard to uh, to open it up and have a look at that and uh, I took the back off and it looked like it had been opened up before because the seal had broke on it. So I think they'd, they'd open it up to, to see if they could fix it themselves. Realised you have to get one of the circuit boards out for this section here to get to the buttons. So I probably thought it was a bit too hard for them to do, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so I, I took, the, took the board out and took all the buttons out and it basically it looked like that um maybe a soft drink or something had got spilt on it and you know what happens with these sort of buttons they just jam up when a load of crap gets stuck in them so anyway i took the buttons out give them a good clean clean some of these buttons contacts and that and uh, put it all back together and it's work working really well now and um, so it's really good for four pound um i think cx seven for about 35 quid something like that so yeah it's a ps3 uh, i only tried it on the ps3 but i think you might be able to use it on the ps4 as well but um i've already got a decent stick but uh, mine's a lot bigger than um than this size arcade stick so this fits on your lap quite nice plus if i have anybody over uh, you know we can have two player um on the arcade stick so that'd be pretty cool so four pound i'm really happy with that but that was the only really decent thing i picked up gaming wise for the collection last week i did pick a couple of other bits up to resell and i did quite well um already sold one of the items uh that i picked up it was um a boy band um five and then it remembers the boy band five from i think it was from 2000 anyway it was a singing doll boxed and i picked it up for two quid and i sold it for 50 so that was a nice flip favor the petrol and uh yeah anyway so yeah this weekend i thought i'll go back and um see if i can find anything <clears throat> and uh yeah come across uh, a few nice bits first of all i found this dvd box set uh vicar dibley um paid a pound and i think it trades in for four or five pound i think it's five um so it wasn't too bad for a pound and then i come across a, a store when he had an xbox 360 i think he'd only just put them out so i was quite lucky because a lot of the time when you've got a lot, a lot of competition it's sort of being in the 
the right place at the right time isn't it with this sort of stuff and um so yeah he uh he don't just put them out i think he had a 360 and this ps3 super slim and i've already got three 360s uh, a new one in box and yeah i've got one that i use and i'll probably end up selling the other one at one at some point um but yeah the ps3 um I've got the fat model, which was a spare one. Uh, I've got the slim, which was light new condition. I've got a Facebook, which I use. Uh, but I've always wanted a, a super slim. And uh, it was 20 quid. And he assured me it worked. It had the power lead and a HDMI cable. And the controller is so good condition. Really good condition. Um, yeah, fantastic condition. Um so i thought well if it don't work you know i think um for parts i'll get my money back just for the system <clears throat> and then you know i can make either sell this or think cx give like what 16 quid trading or something for that and um, so you know for 20 quid i thought i can't really lose um so i bought it anyway i got it home and um the power lead that i uh, that he supplied with it was knackered and um, so i ended up using one of my own power supplies which is only just a normal sort of figure eight sort of kettle lead and i hooked it up to the um to the tv and uh, this is what i saw so as you can see i fired up the ps3 super slim that i got from the car boot sale for 20 quid and uh yeah lovely lovely working condition so very happy with that um so yeah cool so yeah fully working condition and uh, yeah as you can see from the uh the game that was uh playing it was driver san francisco i've already got the game uh but that was a nice little bonus uh, it goes for a few quid i might be able to sell it for a few quid on uh, ebay that so it's a nice condition disc so yeah happy with that so yeah uh, and it's the 500 gigabyte i forgot to say um yeah it's the 500 gig super slim and uh i think cx sell it for about 95 quid something like that so yeah it was nice fine for 20 quid sometimes you just got to take a risk haven't you i mean you know like i said uh 20 quid i knew you know as long as the controller worked i know i couldn't really lose money I, I know i'd get my money back i think spares alone for the ps3 30 40 quid so yeah 20, 20 quid winner a bad of a risk and then moving on to um come across a store and he had quite a few gaming bits uh went the cheapest table and um he had uh, a few ps1 games nothing that interesting he had a couple of nes games which i bo had both of them bugs bunny blowout and ducktales and he wanted a tenner each for them which not a bad price for ducktales a tenner loose cart um but i already had it so yeah um there was no money to be made on it so it didn't really interest me but uh i was about to walk off and uh, spotted this it's a wii u power supply well i haven't shown it in the pickups but uh last year towards the end of last year i picked up another wii u um boxed from cash gen sort of place um for 20 or 25 quid but it was missing the power supply um, but actually came with two pro controllers um so it was a really nice find and it was the my my original box i got for mine that i got from a car boot uh didn't have the inner trays but the one i found um did so yeah i've got two wii u's at the moment but i needed another power supply for one of them and he wanted a fiver and i was trying to get it for three he wouldn't wouldn't have it and i was like four um anyway yeah he, he stuck to his guns and he was like nah nah i want a fiver and if you know you know you know about the price of what official wii u uh power supplies go for they're like 20 quid on ebay so i was going to pick it up for a fiver but just to sweeten the deal he had this loose game of rally cross on the ps1 and i said look how much you want for this and he said oh you can't for a quid i said if i buy that will you throw that in and he was like yeah sure so I've got Rally Cross uh, loose disc thrown in with the uh, power supply for a fiver. Moving on to uh, this, 
come across a table and it was all wrapped up with its cord uh, i think it's for the ps3 yeah it is ps3 it's a power a uh, controller and it's got this these rubbery grips on and it's gone all sticky so i'm waiting for some more um ipa alcohol to come and i started to get it off already but yeah i'll be able to get all that that rubbery stuff off and just go back to the plastic and it'll either trade in at cx i think they give like six quid or i might even keep it for myself it's not a bad actually controller uh it's not like the the inline one it's more like a was it 361 um but yeah it feels quite nice to use i don't mind using these sort of aftermarket ones uh, I've got slightly bigger hands. The find the PS3, uh, these controllers a little bit small to use. Um, so yeah, I might keep it for myself, but it was only a quid. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> pick that up. Uh, moving on to some games I found. <laughs> I found a, a, a demo disc in a box from a house clearance. Asked him how much he wanted and he said a quid. I thought, I ain't paying a quid for a demo disc. So you take 50p and he's like, yeah, go on then. Um, but um, yeah, I don't really collect demo discs. So they'll probably end up going to uh, Game and Grandad. I don't know if he's uh, got this one. Chris, let us know if you've got this uh, demo disc. Uh, I'm getting some stuff ready to um, to send your way. Uh, I was meant to send it last week. Just didn't get around to it. But yeah, there should be a box of uh, goodies coming your way soon, Chris. And uh, yeah, let us know if you've got this. Um, I'll stick it in the box for you. <clears throat> Metal Slug 3 on the Xbox. I've got it for the PS2. And I think I've got four for the Xbox. But uh, yeah, I was quite surprised to see this. But I opened it up and had no game in it. So he let me have the case for 50p. <clears throat> he found these for a pound each on a stall. Uh, Vice City already got it and mine's in really good condition um but this yeah this is not bad it's got its map the, you know the poster it's got everything in there uh, manual and everything um but yeah these these two games were absolutely covered in mud um but i saw past that and i thought it's only the case that should come off and they ain't come up too bad you know so yeah for a quid for that one and uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. This was absolutely covered in mud as well, but it's uh, it hasn't come up too bad for a quid. Already got this as well. I was looking for this game for the longest time. Could never find it. Always wanted to find it out in the wild, you know, like charity shop or a car boot, and never did. And then last year I come across a copy for like a pound or two. Um, so yeah, I've already got that now. It used to go for quite a lot more money than what it does now. Um, I think they give like three quid voucher at the moment. I think they sell it for like five or six quid. Uh, but it's still nice to come across games like that. Ones you don't see all the time. Um, I asked how much this was on a stall. And it was on the first row. And of course, you know, when, um, when all the new cars are coming in, everybody gets sucked up that end. Uh, so I have a quick look at the new cars and then I go back down the old rows because, you know, you've still got people just putting stuff out and I'm sure people just hold back stuff on purpose. Anyway, this was sat on the table and uh, asked how much it was. He said three quid. And uh, I looked at the disc. The disc was uh, really good condition. I said, we'd take two. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. And I've got it for the collection, so I'll probably keep that. If I was going to trade it, I think it's like a six pound voucher, but yeah, I'll probably keep it. I think I've got Forza Horizon 2 on the Xbox One. I've got the first and second on the 360, and I've got the second on the Xbox One. So yeah, I'll probably keep that. This will be traded though. I paid two pound for this, trades in for four pound. I uh, also bought this at the same store. Got the, I think he wanted three quid each. I ended up getting um, the two for two for four pound. Uh, that trades in for four. This is a bit of a fail. This is a six pound trade in. I actually was going to keep it for myself, but there's a little tiny, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, make it out. There's a little tiny crack there, just about to see it. Little tiny crack in the disc. I don't think it'll affect it, to be honest with you, because it's not gone right through. 
Um, so I'll just keep it from a collection for now. And um, yeah, it's a game I've, I've never seen out and about before. So yeah, I'll keep it for now and uh, upgrade it at some point. But uh, yeah, not a bad little find. And then moving on to the last finds. So when I was buying the PS3, uh, some, so there were people hovering around me while I was looking at the PS3. And uh, another chap said how much for the Xbox. And I wasn't interested in the Xbox. I mean, I could have gotten both. could have got the Xbox and the PS3 if I really wanted. Um, I was there first, but uh, I just wanted the PS3. I wasn't bothered about the Xbox. And um, yeah, I bought the PS3. Give me his 20 quid. This, the, the chap who was after the Xbox was really trying to beat him up, really trying to knock him down on the price. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, 20 pound note, you know, no problem. And uh, so he was happy with that. And then as I was walking off, I saw uh, this case on the table. So it's in there. So I opened it up and uh, yeah, it's this blue DS. Yeah, so I've already got one of these in the collection, this colour. The trouble with these ones, they get a bit grubby, don't they, around the edges. It's a bit of a shame. But um, I said to the bloke, I actually um, got it out and and it powered on and everything uh pretty good screens on it there's no scratches or anything it's just uh, like i say it's just a little bit grubby around the sides apart from that it's it's decent it's got stylus it's got the game boy Advance slot protector it's no barcode but uh yeah so i don't think i'll be able to trade it but i think that might be going to a friend of mine anyway um so i said yeah how much he said a tenner i said um I tell you what, we do seven quid, and we had a bit of a sort of joke about it. I said, "Look, I didn't, I didn't beat you up on your on your uh, twenty quid for your PS3." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah." So he let me have seven quid. Uh, came with a charger, so that wasn't too bad. Seven quid, like I say, I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with it. I've already got that colour in the collection, and I don't know why I'm keeping all these DSs. I mean, I must have like six seven eight ds's now and yeah <laughs> it's just that collector thing isn't it i'll probably end up moving some on like i said in my just saying the previous video i'll give one to a friend of mine dsi um to be honest with you i think you'd be better off with a ds light because it can play game boy advance games as well um so yeah i might end up swapping him getting my dsi back and giving him uh giving him this ds light and then the uh, last thing to show, I was sort of almost done at the boot and was walking down the last aisle and there was a new car setting up and a load of stuff on the on the tarpaulin and I saw this and it was just lying there on its own looking sad for itself and um, I said to the chap, I said, pointed it, I said how much for that, he, he didn't know what I was on about to start with and I said the little games machine and um the foreign chap spoke to his girlfriend or his wife and uh i, I don't know what they were saying but yeah he said two quid i was like two quid yeah take that for two quid and i didn't when even you know i hadn't even he hadn't even passed at me to, to check if it was working or anything or if the hinges were broken it looked pretty decent condition for when it was sat on the on the floor so uh I gave him his two quid and uh, and it powered on and it is absolutely fantastic condition really nice condition so yeah happy with that any trouble is it didn't come with a stylus was missing the stylus it's got the gba cover and it's got its barcode um it was missing the stylus i've got a spare white one kicking about so i'll just stuck that in there for now but yeah that is it um 12 minutes of waffling so yeah happy with that anyway that's what i've picked up from the car boot sales and uh yeah until the next video everybody take it easy stay safe bye bye